The Martin P-5M Marlin stands as the final chapter in America's naval flying boat operations, representing a sophisticated evolution from the PBM Mariner. Developed by Glenn Luther Martin Company in Middle River, Maryland, this twin-engine aircraft emerged from Pentagon fears regarding Soviet submarine threats during the late 1940s. Though Western estimates of 600 to 800 Soviet submarines proved significantly exaggerated, Martin began developing the Marlin replacement in 1944, extending the aircraft 2.44 meters beyond the Mariner's length and raising it 1.52 meters higher. Under a June 26, 1946 contract, the company transformed an advanced PBM-5 Mariner into the prototype, incorporating patented underwater wings and water brakes extending from the hull's lower rear section, controlled by rudder pedals to reduce turning radius from 245 to 90 meters. The prototype XP-5M1 first flew on May 30, 1948, featuring nose and tail turrets with twin 20mm cannons and a dorsal turret housing 250 caliber M2 Browning machine guns. The distinctive gull wing configuration positioned right R3350 radial engines above spray zones, while Martin's innovative hull design rose steadily from the water, providing extended flotation base and reducing porpoising over waves. Production began with 167 P5M1 aircraft in 1951, the first flying on June 22, 1951. These featured raised flight decks, ANAPS-44 search radar in the distinctive nose radome replacing gun turrets and streamlined wing floats. Engine nacelles were lengthened for rear weapons bays. The improved P5M2 variant introduced 116 aircraft with T-tail configuration, ANASQ-8 MAD magnetic anomaly detection boom at the tail tip, enhanced crew accommodations, and redesigned bow. Gun positions were replaced with ANAPN-122 Doppler navigation set antennas. Between 1957 to 1959, the Navy implemented an expensive ASW improvement program, installing Julian Jezebel electronic systems and AIDS, Airborne Integrated Display System. Julie ECM employed explosive sonar to calculate submarine positions, while Jezebel used sonoboys for underwater target detection and classification. AIDS collected data from all aircraft ASBU systems, including MAD equipment. Modified aircraft received P5M1S and P5M2S designations. This sophisticated equipment required TACO, Tactical Coordinator Officers Without Pilot Qualifications, establishing the Naval Aviation Technical Personnel Without Pilot Qualification category that persisted through modern aircraft like the Lockheed S-3B Viking. The Marlin entered service at Sangley Point, Philippines in 1954, supported by seaplane tenders including USS Curtis AV-7. France became the sole foreign operator, receiving 10 P-5M2 aircraft between 1957 and 1959 to replace short Sunderland MR MK-5. Operating from Dakar, Senegal, French Marlins conducted 14-hour patrols in extreme tropical conditions as NATO allies. Despite being less spacious than Sunderland's and more maintenance-intensive, French operations remained accident-free except for one minor collision. France returned the aircraft to the United States Navy in August 1964, following their NATO withdrawal. Operation Market Time began in February 1965, with VP-40 conducting maritime surveillance patrols to intercept small craft transporting supplies from North Vietnam to Viet Cong forces. Operating from the Mekong Delta between Phu Quoc and Vung Tau, Marlins launched using JADO methods and carried M60 machine guns plus 127mm HVAR rockets. Their primary mission involved target detection and directing strike aircraft. The Coast Guard operated seven P-5M1G and four P-5M2G aircraft for search and rescue operations, regularly conducting open ocean rescues, unlike Navy crews who avoided water landings. VP-40 conducted the final United States Navy Marlin flight on November 6, 1967, landing on San Diego Bay, California. The last Navy P-5M flew to Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland, on July 12, 1968, for storage pending Smithsonian display that never materialized. Today, one SP-5B, Buno 35533, remains as the last surviving Marlin, displayed at the National Naval Aviation Museum at Naval Air Station Pensacola, Florida. Restored through Museum and Mariner and Marlin Association financing, this aircraft represents the end of America's flying boat era 
and naval aviation's transition from World War II traditions to modern maritime patrol operations.